Tennessee. Morristown, Tennessee. Uh, this is the lead card at Rotary Disc Golf Course. No. Now we're moving on to hole number one. It's a 435 foot hole. Uh, it kind of plays uh, slightly downhill. There's a couple, I guess, uh, there's a plateau in the middle and then it goes down into another flat area. So it plays quite a bit less than 435 feet. But you still have to have about 400 feet of distance to get down there uh, near the basket. Dickerson going with uh, just a standard hyzer shot here. Nice. That's a great drive. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that Anheuser putt. I, I, I heard him talking about him switching up his putt, but I have seen him do it before, but he is doing it a lot more now. Yeah. Good birdie from Chris. <laughs> 240 foot hole number. Definitely want to be there. He got hit early. That's very early. Yeah, that's very early. Chris going with a looks like another kind of uh, maybe a, a putter. Not exactly sure. You do want some skip here. That's great. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's very very good. I'm throwing out and uh, he got out there. How he cut through that, I have no idea. Mm. Dickerson looking to gain another stroke on Colin. Oh, he hit the, he got a little band <laughs> glove on yeah. that one. Of the round four coverage. Uh, it's 370 feet. It's par four. Uh, should probably be marked as a par three. Uh, it's uh, down the hill and to the right. It, it's... You're pretty much throwing off the top of a plateau here, so uh, you just want to throw something that's going to glide. Yeah, this is definitely two of them. Dickerson went a little bit low. I think he was playing for some skip. Uh, he didn't get that much. Looks like I don't really don't think this should be a four. No, this one is one that I think these guys, in their mind, if they don't get it in two, they're thinking of it as a park. Oh, oh, good bid. Then Logan and Chris tapping in for their birdie threes as well. Logan's not happy back here, but uh, yeah. Uh, they were starting on hole number one, so. Uh, hole number four is a 500 foot par four, which is a beastly hole to start your morning out on. Yeah, it's a very tough, uh, very tough tee off here. It's a, just a weird angle. Yeah, it's uh, basically what you want to do is throw one kind of like a placement shot. You can see Dickerson here, uh, Prodigy sponsor Chris Dickerson, is going to be trying to flick one out. Uh, just try and find a small gap there. There's a bunch of gaps, but uh, nothing too wide. So find a gap, uh, pick it, throw at it, and hopefully you can get through out into the landing zone out there. Dickerson on, on the right side. Dickerson's still got quite a ways to go as well. You can see he caught an early tree. It is very open once you get out into the opening, but getting out into the opening is the hard part. Yeah. Wow. It's coming in nicely. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Leave himself a putt. Now they're yourself running up a hill now. <laughs> Dickerson looking for a three as well. So far, we've got two birdies in. This switch is really Pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to hole number five. It's 335 feet. It's uphill the whole way, and the basket's tucked into the right side of the woods up there. Um, it plays a lot longer than 335 because you can see it, it's it's uphill. It's uphill, definitely. It's not very steep, but it's inclined the entire way. So this one seems always just get mm -hmm. like. I come up shorter than I think I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Looks like Dickerson's going to throw a roller, which is definitely a very good play here. If they can get the distance and get it to curve in, you can see the basket right in there. He went a little bit long past the basket, so uh, he may have a putt, but it's kind of hard to see. It's hard to get in there if you're close. <laughs> you can see Dickerson has a putt here. It is a long putt, and 
couple trees in the way. We'll see what he can do with that. Mm -hmm. That's a nice bit. Yeah, very close. Looks like uh, Collins walking away with the uh, only birdie on that hole. And there were only two strokes behind uh, Chris Dickerson. He's birdie shot. This hole does play downhill, so just like we mentioned on the last hole, the, the grade changes the distance. So I would say about 280 maybe this one plays as. You're basically just you're just trying to get through the first little thicket of trees at the beginning of the opening. You just got to find your line and just hope it makes it through. Mm -hmm. Dickerson a little bit high and he got knocked down. Yeah, this whole guy, this is surprising that it got these guys mm -hmm. to me really. I wouldn't say this is a gimme hole, but it's uh, one that these guys are definitely wanting to walk away with. Great approach from Dickerson. I think he hit the pole there. So it's three birdies in a row. He is for it, trying to stay up uh, in the top four. Moving on to hole number seven. The hill yeah, there. That's, that, that is a lot further than uh, what you would think to get down there, but you know, a lot of people don't take a four on this hole. No. I see this as a three, and then hole number eight, it's marked as a three, should be marked as a four. Yeah. That's one of the things since this course has been in a Morristown that I know at least us. I don't know about all the locals, but a lot of uh, people think that this one should be a three, and I agree with it. Yes. Dickerson with a good roller there, but he got stuck on the rock down there. You can Yeah. I did. Dickerson looking. Uh, he could If he could put this in here, it is, uh, I'd say, about a... 110, 120 out. He could still card an eagle. Okay. Very long. Mm -mm. This is his first year playing as a pro. Dickerson looking to card the birdie. Good putt. I mean, you know that's got to be getting in Dickerson's head uh, up at the top. So great charge from Colin there. Moving on. Baskets. It's pretty far uphill once you get around that corner. Oh, yeah, just getting around the corner is the main thing, but they get it out a lot further than oh, yeah. than, I, than any of us can. Definitely, we're just making the we're just hoping to make the corner. These guys are hoping to make. He's right there at the split tree. So from that to get there from where he was at, that's that's really good. Definitely. As you can see, they're just trying to toss something up there. Basket's right in between those two tall trees. Dickerson going on the outside, hoping to fade in. There you go. And that's a good shot. I would say this is one of the most forward par threes yeah. on the court. Uh, Colin and Chris are still tied at the top. Moving on to hole number. You can tell he's charging. He's... Got caught up to where Chris is, so he's definitely going to be running that. Diggerson looks like he's going with standard backhand shot here. Oh, Little skip long. shot. Playing the skip. Now, Griffith, didn't you? I think you said you talked to Chris and he said he was trying to play for the skip. Yeah. Right out and then back in, but that would not have been OB if he had went out. As you can see there, if Chris had made it just around those trees right there before hitting the ground, it could it could have definitely skipped up right near the basket. Oh, mm. it's going to be a good run, those limbs right there. That's a great shot from Dutch, and the rest of the guys are tapping in for their pars. <laughs> BDGC's Griffith right there walking around with the pro. Didn't realize it did. Roll back a little bit towards the basket. There's a little ditch to the... Uh left there yeah he kind of hit the edge of that and it just kind of stopped any sort of skip dickerson looks like maybe a putter just a soft toss to get down there maybe a mid-range i'm not exactly sure wow parts it which makes just about every putt so. <laughs> 
Good birdie from Dutch and Chris and Snap is uh, one stroke behind him at 33 down for the lead. Shooting a hot round. Yes. It's uphill the whole way, like I said, 495 feet, but Dickerson is stepping way back behind the tee, and I wasn't ready for this, and he just comes running up and uh, trying to get as much distance as he can. He doesn't quite turn it over like he wanted to. You can see it's turning out on the left side. It's all about getting distance on this mm -hmm. hole. You can see uh, Chris here, he's down at the bottom of a hill here. There, he's not in the OB. There is an OB soccer field behind him. And uh, he's the basket's up to the right of that big tree right there. You can see. Oh, I can't. Hit I, the pole. I walked over there with him to look at that line. I was like, oh, there is a. Dickerson also with a birdie. <laughs> this, I like this. <laughs> hard holes. To me, that's just not fun going yeah. up that hill. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Uh, this has got to be the most, I think, wrong parred hole. Like this, it's this is a three. Yeah. This, I mean, if you take a four on this hole, you've done something incredibly wrong. Now, you can turn it over and go into the soccer field on the right side, which is OB. That could cause you to get a four, but that would have to be quite a turnover. Or you could you could go into the woods. It's pretty thick. In mm -hmm. there. It is very thick. Yeah, and you can see in the chains from in that. That's amazing right there. Yeah. I just can't say enough about that shot. Chris looking to get an eagle too. Hmm. Good bid. Yeah. Chris looking a little bit bummed out after that. I think he was definitely trying to make it into the final nine. So uh, they got to make something up into that little uh, clearing right there. You definitely can get a putt. Uh, there's a lot of trees up in there. So getting a roller there is a lot harder than it looks. Now Dickerson's going with the big, huge, uh, the hyzer shot over the top. Uh, I've seen some of the bigger arm pros park this hole like this. So we'll see what Dickerson can do. Looks like he got caught up a little bit. He got a little bit of forward roll, though. He didn't have a whole lot to look at there, but he somehow found a gap, and he got up there. He's part for three, so Dickerson's got to... Uh, he's got to try and make this uh, to try and get another stroke, but uh, Collins is right there at the basket, so... It's going to be a tough one. Mm, mm. Good run. Yep. Right for the final nine, uh, a lot of the scoring opportunities are gone. As you can see, some of these holes, uh, there's not a lot of gimme twos on this back nine. So start of, uh, at least at the start of this back nine, we've got a lot of the two. The uh, that's a great shot there. This hole's a, ho a lot harder than it looks. Oh, definitely. I was trying to stand at an angle when I filmed this so you could see uh, the basket down in the bottom it's a little bit too bright the sun was too bright out there but uh, I wish you could see the what it actually looks like off the tee and Dickerson with an absolutely <laughs> perfect shot <laughs> oh that's such a great out from that side oh my goodness Dickerson took another stroke on the card here no, I'm sorry. We got Logan here, I think. Either way, they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so it looks like Colin actually did go out of bounds there. He got a bogey. Logan, mate, he cracked me up when we played this. He said uh, he said that's a whole lot of work to end up right there where it was. So, <laughs> oh, he had me laughing after that. You still, if you're on the upper part of the other side of the valley there, like just that's good enough for me. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Yeah. This is one hole that I would like to see a lot of stuff cut out of. Yeah. Now, Dickerson did make it on the other side, but still, like you can see, he, he's still about 40 feet out. A little bit further than that, I think. Maybe 45. Let's see what Chris can do here. Get there. Oh. Uh, no. 
unless you're doing a hyzer over the top, it's a lot of luck involved on this hole. These guys tapping in their threes, a three-stroke lead. Um, not that many uh, holes. He's on the left side over there. Oh. I can see these. I've seen many of these guys make that gap. Oh yeah. And park it. I've never. I'll never be able to dream of that. <laughs> but it's this. You know, it's doable. Just looking for that to turn over a little bit and then flex. He's up there. Yeah. It's there's him. With the arm like he's got, and he's a very good putter. Uh, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be up in the top. So keep your eye on Colin. He's doing great things. For this to be his first year mm -hmm. as a professional, and him faring this well during the Tennessee State tournament, he's doing great. Dude. Oh my goodness, what a spit out! These are something about that basket. It doesn't look that different. The chains don't really lead as we move into hole number seventeen. It's a 310 feet dog leg left. Uh, it's not down straight through that fairway. You want to uh, turn on the left side there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this fairway. I've, uh, you can make it through there. And if you do, you've got a really good putt. But it's, it's just kind of kind of a luck. Another luck hole. Uh, yeah, definitely. That's what I was measuring before. This. Uh, not quite a scoring opportunity on this hole without some luck involved. Chris has a great shot there. You can see looking back up the fairway there. And yeah. he's, I, I, would, I won't say a lot of the, it's a lot of the field, but not all of the field. 75. Yeah, definitely. Dickerson looking to get a birdie as well. We'll see what he can do. Oh, a little, a little bit short. short. I would assume if this was earlier in the tournament, a lot of these guys would maybe be going with an air shot, but this late in the tournament, they're probably just looking to take a three. Move. But, mm -hmm. Moving on to hole 18, it's the 540. When we play this, we're looking to get over the edge of that hill, so for us, that's a good shot right there. I know Colin wanted a little bit more there, but he's definitely uh, in place to make a birdie three on this hole. Dickerson looking like he's crushing one. Wow. That's a great shot right there. Good. You just don't know. I mean, unless... It's got to feel good taking a two on this hole this late in the tournament, trying to get some strokes back. Dickerson's making them push for it. He's trying yeah. to run away with it at this point. Oh, yeah. He's the man. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another ladder, too, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocky boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. I've been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.